Uh, and the fourth important operator in vector algebra is the Laplacian operator. One important uh, identity here, based on the definition of the divergence and the curl operator, divergence of curl of any quantity is a zero. Divergence of curl of any quantity, you know the input uh, quantity of a curl can be uh, at most in the order of two in three-dimensional space and at most in the order of one in two-dimensional coordinates. So this uh, symbol here can be a vector or a tensor, second order tensor or metric or a stellar in three-dimensional space. So uh, the divergence of curl of any quantity uh, is zero. This is an identity which can be proved simply. Simply can be proved. But uh, now uh, the divergence of gradient of something. This is the divergence of curl. This is the divergence of gradient of something is not zero. Uh, and uh, we can show the divergent dot product, the contracted product, product of gradient of something. This is uh, the dot product of two del operators. Is shown by del2 operator or the delta operator. This is the Laplace operator, Laplacian operator, which is a scalar. As you know, the delta operator is the order of one is a vector. Again, this is a vector. The dot product reduces the result by two. So one plus one is two. Two minus two is zero. So uh, the Laplacian operator is a scalar uh, operator and does not change the order of its uh, inputs and preserves the order of the input quantity. Uh, again, uh, uh, as we know, when you, uh, we can easily compute the dot product of uh, the um, gradient operator. Uh, here we have the Laplace, I am going to write the Laplacian operator, plus uh, 2 over y2 and uh, 2 over z2. Two. This is the dot product of the del operator, uh, which is a scalar. This is the component, uh, this is the Laplacian operator. When you want to compute the Laplacian of a vector, the result is again a vector. The Laplacian of a scalar is a scalar. Pay attention to that. Generally, components of Laplacian of a vector not equal to the Laplacian of components of that vector. You know the Laplacian of the vector is a vector, okay? Again, uh, the components of Laplacian of a vector are not equal to the Laplacian of components of that vector. This statement is just true for Cartesian coordinates. In cylindrical or polar, or spherical, or any other uh, curvilinear coordinates, components of Laplacian uh, are not equal to the Laplacian of components. Okay? Uh, again, you know, the divergence operator reduces the order by one, the gradient increases the order by one, so when we simultaneously uh, imposed uh, to uh, both of them, the order of the result does not change. Okay. Another point uh, is about the Laplace equation. When the Laplacian of something is a zero, this partial differential equation is called the Laplace equation. When the Laplacian of something is not zero, is equal to a constant, for example, this equation. Uh, which is a non-homogeneous version of the Laplace equation is called the Poisson equation. The, the Laplacian operator is uh, frequently used in many different sciences, such as fluid mechanics in potential flow, in definition of the stream function, uh, in, in the elasticity, uh, and uh, in electromagnetics, and many other sciences. Uh, another important operator, which is originated, uh, which is um, a permutation, for example, of the Laplacian operator, is the biharmonic operator. When you apply the Laplacian operator twice, Laplacian of, Laplacian of something is shown, is shown by the del4 operator or delta2 operator is the biharmonic operation. Again, this 
uh, important operator is uh, appears in uh, stocks law, creeping flow in fluid mechanics, in the in instability analysis of flames and in elasticity theory, we have biharmonic equation, which is again a biharmonic operator of something equal to zero. This is the biharmonic uh, version analogy uh, analogous to the Laplace equation.